So lately, I've been working a lot on Bindi's uh, retrieving of the ball. She's doing great on that. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over what we've already taught her and kind of refresh in her mind what each command means. We've been focused so hard on her struggle of, of retrieving that it's been quite a while since we've touched uh, any other thing that we taught her previously. So I'm pretty sure she's going to need a lot of refresher on what the words mean and what the command means to do separate things. So we're going to start out with doing a couple fetch sessions and I'll show you where she's at with that. Bindi, get down. And then we will um, you know, go through the, the different things that she knows already. And depending on how well that goes, we might add in a new behavior, but we probably won't. I'm thinking she'll need a lot of refresher, but maybe she'll surprise me. If the refresher goes through really smoothly, then we'll move on to the next behavior. So this is where she's at with the, with the uh, retrieving. She's got to put it right in my hand. Yes! And you see, if she drops it and it doesn't go right in my hand, I, I'm kind of like a limp fish. I don't, <laughs> I don't uh, do anything, but she's got to place it right in my hand in order to get the reward. Well, you, now it's rolled to where you can't get it. Bring it here. Yes! Good girl. Bring it here, Bindi. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Do another one. Let's do one more. <laughs> Bring it here. Yes. Should we do another? Let's do another. You're doing a great job. Bring it here. Yes. Girl. Bring it here. Yes. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, let's try some other behaviors. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. That was good. Get in there. Good. Get in there. Good. Get in there. Good. Yes. You could tell she did not remember the word for that at all. <laughs> she she just kind of trialed and there that one. Get in there. Yes. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Drop. Yes. She didn't take very many. <laughs> very have much hesitation for that, did she? Get in there. Yes. Drop. Drop. Yes. Get in there. Yes. Look. Look. Good. Look. No. Good. Yes. Drop. Yes. So she clearly remembers everything very well. Um, she didn't need much refresher at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next um, <clears throat> next behavior, which is I'm gonna want her to get on top of this. To begin with, I'm gonna reward her for any um, interest she shows in this. So if she looks at it, she sniffs at it, any kind of interest, I'll give her a reward. And then slowly we're gonna build up from, you know, just like going in the crate glancing at it, to touching it, to putting one paw on it, both paws on it, and eventually all the way on top of it. Now, because she's done, today, hopefully, if, if things go well, you're going to get to see 
the benefit of this type of training, yes, it takes a lot more repetitions and effort and time than luring or, or other training methods. However, it teaches her how to learn. And today, hopefully, I'll be able to show you how now she's going to learn a new behavior so much quicker than she did the original behavior, which we taught her, which was going into the crate. So let's see how she does today. Maybe I'll eat my words and I'll... <laughs> but I, I'm willing to bet that she's going to learn this behavior in less time, in a fraction of the time that it took her to learn the original behavior, which is going in the crate. So let's see if I'm right. Yes. 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 Is she immediately? Yes. Started interacting with the thing on the floor because she knows, yes, she knows that I, that's what I'm looking for is for her to interact with something, yes, that's in front of us. So she immediately, yes, without any trial or an error, started interacting with it. Yes. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is have her put a foot on it. So she gets no reward till the foot goes on top of it. Just one foot is plenty. Or even just attempts to put the foot on. It doesn't have to go all the way up. Just kind of puts her paw, paw on it or, or scrapes it with her paw. Anything to do with her paw and that, she'll get a reward. Yes! 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 And give her a couple more, then it'll be both paws. Yes! Okay, she's already offered both paws, so now she's got to put two paws on. Yes! <laughs> she got three. Yes! <laughs> Little smart devil. Yes. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. She figured that out in a matter of seconds. Yes. Yes. Look. 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 No. Look. Good. Look. Good. Look. Look. Good. Yes. Get up. Yes. 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 Look. Look. Uh-uh. Look. Good. Yes. Get up. Get up. Get up. Yes. Yes. Oops, she saw that one. <laughs> I threw that really obvious. Get up. Oh, get up. Get up. Uh-uh. Get up. Get up. Yes. Yes. Jeez, I throw that really bad. I need to throw it a little more discreetly. Look. Uh-uh. Look. Good. Look. Uh-uh. Look. Good. Yes. Good girl. Get up. Yes, look at that. So this is what I mean by not just teaching her a behavior, but teaching her how to learn. This is a completely new behavior she hasn't done before, and she picked it up like instantly, just because she's learned how to think for herself and how to figure out through trial and error what I want. It's a beautiful thing. The initial steps are really slow and kind of painful to be honest. But once she's figured out 
that she needs to think with her own mind and figure out what I want. And if she does so, she'll get rewarded. Then pretty soon she starts figuring out really, really fast what you want her to learn. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. Oh, that's a good puppy. Oh, that's such a good puppy. Okay, so we're going to be doing another little trailing training with Bindi. And we got permission to go into the neighbor's yard. So we're going to start from the front yard today. And uh, yeah, let's uh, do another trail. Alrighty, so we're just going to let her down pretty close to where the trail started and uh, see what she does. Now she's never had to follow the scent across cement before and cement carries a lot less scent than the grass so it'll be interesting to see how she does. So to her the scent will get a lot weaker as it crosses the cement so it's a little bit of a, a barrier almost like crossing a stream where the scent isn't available anymore but if they cross the whole stream they'll pick it up again kind of a similar situation though there is scent on the cement it's going to be very weak and faint in comparison to the scent trail left on the grass across the cement now. Oh, she picked right up on the trail now. She's right on where the trail was drugged. And you can tell she wasn't following the scent where it drugged it. She was following the scent where the wind blew it because the scent blew it up against that house. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. Yes, had a good puppy. Oh, that's a good puppy. Yeah, that's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. Oh, that's such a good puppy. I'm happy with her. She was really stumped by that scent getting faint across the, the, the cement. You could tell she thought maybe that a turn was made because she kept following it as if maybe the scent had gone one way or maybe it had gone the other way as if there was a turn. Because that's what usually has happened in the past for her. When the scent stopped, it meant it was turned so she kept trying to pick up the trail making the circle but just couldn't find it because obviously it didn't turn it went straight and then finally she worked away across the cement following the the drifted scent which was kind of cool to watch once she got on the right side she picked up the correct tail stuck her nose right to it followed it went even even didn't even miss the turn went right down and and did a great job so pretty happy with her oh you did a great job you want a little bit more oh she wanted a little bit more yeah, I'm happy with her. That was quite the little bit of a puzzle for her, but she figured it out, and in the end, she did a great job. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time.
<laughs> Goodness. Get down. Get down. What the heck are you doing?